The Sound of Freedom. You probably already heard of it because it's pretty much viral at this point. Everybody's talking about it. But here's the thing. There's these professing Christians that are literally coming against this movie. Why? Why? I know, I said the same thing, but I'll tell you what they're doing. They're coming against this movie because they're saying, oh, Angel Studios, they involve Mormons, or Jim Caviezel, he covered his eye once, so he must be in the Illuminati, or Mel Gibson, and he promoted it too. This is all controlled opposition. These people are literally, they don't realize they are the controlled opposition. I mean, it's unbelievable how much these people, professing Christians, cannot see the good. They just cannot see it. And I wish, I wish I could explain to you all how, how you looking for evil has actually caused it to find you instead. If you're one of these people that are believing this, honestly, remember Proverbs 11:27. Evil comes to him who searches for it. You guys only look for it. I swear you have nothing good to say about the movie. How unbelievable of You can't say nothing good? Are you kidding me? You are an accuser of brethren if you are promoting this lie about a brother in Christ, and God hates that. Check out Proverbs 6, 16 through 19. And let's be clear, you've never even met the man. I know you haven't. Me and you both know you haven't. And guess what? I confidently know that you've never prayed for him either. And yet instead you're here perpetuating the attacks from the enemy. Just another sad indictment against the body of Christ. Remember this, unto the pure, all things are pure. But unto them that are defiled, and unbelieving is nothing pure, but even their mind and conscience is defiled. That's Titus 1.15. Love thinks no evil of others. Corinthians, 1 Corinthians 13. Are you catching me here? There, this is not any a part of you. These Christians that are professing this movie is bad, which blows my mind. They, are, they don't take any of those into consideration. And those who walk in the spirit think the best of their siblings in Christ and never presume to judge their intentions. It says in Philippians 4.8, Finally, brothers, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is commendable, if there is any excellence, if there is anything worthy of praise, think about these things. And again, these Christians that are coming against this movie, that's literally obsolete from their mouth and again you accusing a man you've never met and slandering him and his intentions obviously without ever praying for him you have some repenting to do and here's the thing they, there's also this claim by these professing christians that you can't make it in the world without selling your soul to the devil or you can't you can't be rich and famous or be in hollywood or a movie like that can't come out and get all this attention unless the devil wanted it himself, unless the evil powers that be allowed it to be. Are you kidding me? Do you really think God has no sovereignty in this world? Do you have such little faith? I want you to show me in scripture where it says you don't make it to the top without being compromised and following the God of this world's agenda. Because I'll show you in scripture where you're flat out wrong. You want to talk about it? Let's talk about it. Joseph was sold into slavery by his brothers. We know this story, right? He had a really nice coat, lots of colors. As a slave, he had no ambitions to be rich. He had no ambitions to be famous. He only did the work that was put before him. Now, in Potiphar's house, Joseph's faithfulness resulted in his being put in charge of everything. And later in jail, he helped his fellow prisoners earning a trust that was ultimately led to his being put in charge of all of Egypt, second only to Pharaoh. In short, Joseph focused on what God wanted him doing, and as a result, he became one of the most powerful and famous men in the world. You can look that up in Genesis 37 through 41. But here's the thing. You're wrong if you believe God can't lift you up in this world. You need to repent if this is one of the things that you're doing. If you're coming against this movie and saying, oh, because, you know, this guy, he, there's a shadow over his eye in this one movie, and he took Jim Caviezel took a picture like this, he must be the devil. Are you kidding me? You have no idea how you're actually the controlled opposition. You're the one perpetuating the attacks of the enemy. You have been manipulated and you think you're wise? You are accusing a man you've never met and prayed for. We've established this. Remember, God said, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise and the discernment of the discerning. I will thwart. 1 Corinthians 1.19. Here's the deal, people. It's time to just... It's time to go see the movie, all right? Go see the movie. Get a friend. Let's go see the movie. Stop being a weirdo. Don't be a weirdo. This movie's awesome. Let's go see it.